Gone too soon, at just 22 years old, Aaliyah was a rising superstar whose musical talent and charismatic style made her an icon of the 90s and beyond. Though her young life ended in tragedy, her soaring career accomplishments and dreams for the future revealed Aaliyah's shining spirits and that unrelenting drive that still inspires fans today. It's hard to believe it's been over 20 years since the world tragically lost Aaliyah. Though her time on this earth was short, her impact was immense. Even from her earliest days, Aaliyah had an undeniable gift for music. As a young girl growing up in Brooklyn and Detroit, she would practice singing whenever she could. Parents recognized her talent, shuttling her to vocal lessons, and supporting her dream of being a performer. So when Aaliyah didn't win on Star Search at age 11, she didn't let that stop her. If anything, it only made her more determined. That drive led to huge opportunities, like her five night gig in Las Vegas with the legendary Gladys Knight. Even as a preteen, Aaliyah was securing big time performances. Her talent was matched only by her dedication to education. With her mother homeschooling her and the support of teachers like Dr. Sylvia Twyman, Aaliyah earned straight A's, graduating from Detroit School of Performing Arts with a perfect 4.0 GPA. Now, Aaliyah credited her family and educators for her success in and out of the classroom. Teachers like Dr. Denise Cotton and Jennifer Vandenbrooks gave Aaliyah the encouragement that she needed. Visionary leaders like Dr. David Sneed, who approved Aaliyah's specialized homeschool program, helped her achieve both in academics and the arts. Aaliyah had plans to attend college after graduating high school, but her promising music career had already taken off by that time. She chose to pursue her passion, but she never forgot the mentors who instilled a love of learning in her. Even as she topped charts and broke records, education remained a priority for Aaliyah. She said, when I told my parents that I wanted to embark along this path, they were with me all the way. They were the ones who shuttled me back and forth to my vocal lessons, dance lessons, private guitar, play rehearsals at Jisoo Elementary School, and they even saw to it that the sets for plays were transported to Mary Grove College in Michigan. What could be more important? At just 14 years old, Aaliyah burst onto the music scene with her smash hit debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. How soon? The album's first single, Back and Forth, was an instant chart topper hitting number 5 on the Billboard Hot 100 and number 1 on the R&B charts. Aaliyah remembers anxiously waiting to see how people would receive her music. When the album went gold, she knew she made it. Her unique style and talent paved the way for other young female singers. Soon, Aaliyah's baggy clothes and tomboyish look became a sensation. She once joked that she would never wear a dress or carry a purse. But as you might expect, her fashion sense evolved as she grew into a style icon. Her performance at the MTV Awards in a glam Roberto Cavalli gown showed her versatility. In 1996, Aaliyah cemented her status as an R&B queen with her sophomore album One in a Million. Singles like If Your Girl Only Knew and Hot Like Fire went double platinum, featuring the production talents of Timbaland and Missy Elliott. Aaliyah had unmatched chemistry with Timbaland, calling them musical soulmates. Their innovative sound defined late 90s R&B. Major producers like Jermaine Dupri and Rodney Jerkins lined up to work with Aaliyah, and her album went multi-platinum worldwide. Her star power only grew. In 1998, Aaliyah landed major movie roles in smash hit singles like Are You That Somebody and Journey to the Past. Her acting and songwriting talents earned industry accolades. But Aaliyah, she was only getting started. At just 22 years old, she had become an unstoppable entertainer, one of the most successful young artists of the decade. Fresh off her breakout acting role in Romeo Must Die, Aaliyah proved her versatility again by taking on an entirely new challenge in 2001's Queen of the Dam. Sinking her teeth into the role of Akasha, a vampire queen, Aaliyah researched extensively to prepare. She read Anne Rice's Vampire Chronicles cover to cover, and she even discussed the role with Rice directly. Rice was thrilled that Aaliyah would portray her iconic character. To perfect Akasha's movements, Aaliyah worked closely with a speech instructor and mime artist. While demanding the role displayed Aaliyah's dedication to growing as an actress, she continued working with acting coach 
Harold Guskin, who guided her earlier portrayal in Romeo Must Die. Aaliyah brought the same passion to her music career. Her third and final studio album, released in 2001, showed increasing artistry. She pushed boundaries with experimental tracks like We Need a Resolution and timeless ballads like Rock the Bow. Securing roles in major upcoming films like The Matrix sequels and Sparkle, Aaliyah's acting career was also gaining momentum. She met personally with Whitney Houston to discuss Sparkle, demonstrating her drive to collaborate with the best in the business. The world was shaken on August 25th, 2001 by the devastating news that Aaliyah had died in a plane crash at just 22 years old. She had been in the Bahamas filming a music video and was heading back to the United States when tragedy struck. She was on a small plane heading to Florida from the Bahamas where she was shooting a music video. Shortly after takeoff, the small Cessna aircraft carrying Aaliyah and her video crew crashed and erupted into flames. Aaliyah and seven others were believed to have perished instantly in the crash. A ninth passenger later died from injuries sustained. On board the doomed Cessna, Aaliyah and eight others, including a representative for Virgin Records and a makeup. In the days following, over 100 mourning fans gathered outside the funeral home in Nassau as Aaliyah's body was prepared to be flown home. Four men gently carried her casket to a hearse and a private jet brought her back to the New York area, arriving on Tuesday evening. The outpouring of grief over Aaliyah's death mirrored the incredible outpouring of love and support that she received during her career. And Ended far too soon, her brilliant star continues to shine. Aaliyah inspired millions through her talent and spirit, leaving behind an unforgettable musical and cinematic legacy. While she was growing up, Aaliyah lived in a lovely family home in Detroit, Michigan. She was born in Brooklyn, New York, but she was five years old when her family packed up and moved to Detroit. Aaliyah started performing music early on, performing in choirs and churches. While she was attending Gesu Elementary, she was cast in the school play Annie. Eventually, she would attend Detroit Performing Arts High School, and here she had a 4.0 GPA. Aaliyah was reportedly planning to purchase a three-bedroom unit on one higher floor in this building. I can just imagine the sweeping views of Central Park and the city skyline she would have enjoyed from that vantage point. The amenities here were top of the line for the time. 24-hour doormen, elevators, valet parking, and even maid services available. For Aaliyah, home was always where her family was, and she wanted to give them the very best too. Lincoln Plaza Tower is a co-op located at 44 West 62nd Street in Lincoln Square, New York. This building was first built in 1974 and is 50 years old. This building was first built in 1974. The lot that the building was built on is 160 feet wide and 100 feet long. There are a total of 150 units of those, 148 are residential and two commercial units. There are 30 floors in this building, so thankfully it's equipped with elevator service. That wraps up our story and tour of Aaliyah's one-time homes. We're reminded that true greatness knows no bounds of age or time. Aaliyah's journey from a young girl with dreams to a global superstar just shows her determination, talent, and spirit. While she left us far too soon, her legacy continues with fans around the world. From her groundbreaking music to captivating performances on the silver screen, Aaliyah's influence remains present in the hearts of those who were touched by her artistry. Be sure to place your favorite Aaliyah memory in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.